Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of HTML with Libre Computers, where learning is fun. In this session of HTML, we will learn about how to insert an image in the web page, its attributes, and how to insert symbols. Let us start typing the code in Notepad++. There are many other softwares available to type the code. For example, brackets, which you can use in place of Notepad++. Starting with the structure of HTML5, as discussed in the last class, initialization of HTML5 is done with Doctype, which tells the browser what kind of file it is. Image tags are used to display an image, wherever you want to show them. It can also be used, as a way, of linking other pages, using hyperlink tag. Inside the body tag, we insert the image using the tag, IMG, inside the angle brackets. Now, image tag has some attributes, and the most important attribute here is, source attribute given as, src. In this attribute, we mention the name of the image, that is to be displayed. Always specify the image name, with the image extension, or else, the browser will not be able to, identify the type of file it is. Next important thing for source attribute is that, the image that you use, has to be saved in the same folder as the page itself. So, let us save an image in the folder, where the file is saved. Copy the name of the image, exactly the way it is given, and also check the file extension. Insert the image name, with the extension, in the source attribute. Save the page and check the output. As you can see here, the image size is very big, compared to the screen resolution. This can be adjusted, by using the attributes, width and height. Width and height, can be given either in pixels, or, percentage. Pixels vary from one system to another, whereas, percentage takes the correct distribution, on the screen, no matter what is the system's, screen resolution. Let us see the example with both the units. With percentage as the unit, you can see that the image occupies, 50% of the screen horizontally, and, vertically. When the units are changed to pixel, you can see that, according to the count of the number of pixels, the image reduces in size. This particular size will vary from system to system. Next attribute we have is, border. There are different border patterns available, that can be given in, HTML, such as, solid, double, groove, inset, outset, dotted, dashed, and ridge. If we specify the border, directly as an attribute, to the image tag, then, it will apply the thickness mentioned, but the pattern that will be displayed, will be solid only, as we just saw, even after changing it to dotted. So, in order to apply the pattern, as well as, the color, to the border, we use CSS. Now, let us see, what the browser will display, if we remove the image, from the folder, and place it in another folder. Here I have created a folder named, images, and shifted the image into it. 
As you can see, a broken file is displayed, but other image attributes are maintained. In order to display the image, saved in the folder, this is how we write the source. The name given to the folder, where the image is saved, has to be typed, before the image name, in the source attribute. So now, when you check the output, the image is back. You can mention same text to the image as well, which is done with the help of the attribute, alt, which means alternate text for the image. This is very important, when you consider uploading your design website. If a user searches a name given to the image, on the search engine, then your web page will be displayed to the user. It is helpful in increasing your search engine rankings. Here I have deleted the image folder, so that you can see, how the old text is displayed. Last two attributes of image tag is, H space and V space, which stands for, horizontal space, and vertical space. What these does is, H space provides a predefined space, on the left and the right side, of the image, and, V space provides predefined spacing, on top, and, the bottom, of the image. This distance, is measured from the inner border of the browser, to the border of the image. These are some of the properties of an image tag. Next topic is, inserting special symbols, in the web page. Each of the symbols used, can be represented, with the help of the code. Here are some examples. Using this, we have inserted, registered symbol, copyright symbol, trademark symbol, and an arrow. Refresh the page to check the output. With this we will end this session. We will meet again soon. Thank you for watching our video. Like, share, and subscribe our channel.